Hello, children. Are you ready to look at the picture book? I wonder what we shall have today. Oh, hello, sausage. What a splendid coat you have on. Is it new? But why do you wear it indoors? It does look pretty. <laughs> and it does look very pretty, sausage. Now you sit still and be good, because we're going to look at the picture book. Oh, this is the page that shows me how to make something, and it's paper lanterns. I have the things to make paper lanterns here. Piece of pretty wallpaper, glue, pencil, and of course, a pair of scissors. The paper must be the right shape. It must be an oblong, like this. Oh, but I'm going to need a ruler in a minute, and I haven't got a ruler. Uh, Thank you very much, Sausage. Isn't he a useful little dog? He's going to fetch the ruler. Well, while we're waiting for him, we'll fold the paper over. I'm going to fold it so that this long edge here touches this long edge here. Like this. Fold it in two. Press it over with my fingers so that there's a crease. Oh, thank you, Sausage. Like that. It's a good dog. Thank you very much. Sausage, whatever's the matter? Wrap coat. Wrap coat. Oh, yes, I know you've got a new coat, and it's very pretty indeed. Oh, it is. Now, you be quiet, because look, you'll get glue all over your new coat if you're not very careful. Yeah? So now we've got the ruler. We'll draw a straight line near the top edge. Not this folded edge here, but this open edge. The ruler on the paper and draw a straight line along the top of it with the pencil. Like that. Now with the scissors, I'm going to cut slits up to the pencil line. Straight cut. And there's one slit. And there's another. And another slit up to the pencil line. Now, you would go on cutting those slits all along the paper, but there isn't time for me to do that. So I have paper here already cut with all the slits. And look, this is what it looks like. Something like a comb, isn't it? Or a little girl's fringe. Next thing I do is to open the paper out like this, unfold it. I must do this very carefully because I don't want to tear it. Open it out. And now it's flat. Now I'm going to stick this corner on top of this corner here. So with the glue, I'll put a little blob there, a little blob of glue on that corner like that. And press the two corners together with my fingers. There we are. And now I do the same thing at the other end. A little block of glue and press the two corners together. Pressing them hard together with my fingers. It may take a little while for the glue to dry. There we are. You could use sticky tape to stick these corners together if you liked. And there. It's beginning to look like a lantern, isn't it? But there's one more thing to go on it, isn't there? And that's the handle. And here's a strip of paper already cut to be the handle. I'm going to pin this on because the glue would take a little while to dry. So I'll pin it on this side first. If you pin yours, be very careful you don't stick the pin in your finger, won't you? Perhaps you could ask somebody to help you to do this part. That's one side. And now we'll do the other side of the handle. Pin it on. There we are. There's a pretty little lantern. I have some more here. 
Look, he has a tiny baby lantern. Do you like that one? Look, sausage. Stand it up on its end, like that. <laughs> sausage, I think sausage thinks it's a toy, don't you? Oh, yeah. I think I'd better put it over here. There we are. And here's a lovely big one made with very pretty wallpaper. There. But you could do them in plain paper or just colored paper. There. Do you think you could make a paper lantern like that? Perhaps next time when it rains and you can't go out, you could try to make one. Now we'll have a look at the next page. Oh. This is a picture of a little girl. Do you know what her name is? I'm going to call her Busy Lizzie. If you haven't seen Busy Lizzie before, you won't know that that big flower on her frock is a wishing flower. She has only to touch it and wish for something. And hey presto, there it is. She can wish for one, two, three, even four things at a time but not five. If she forgets and wishes for more than four things, everything flies away. Do you see that Busy Lizzie has straight, wispy hair? She doesn't like it, and one day she tried to change it. She touched that very special flower and said, I wish I had long, lovely, curly hair. <laughs> Well, what do you think of that? Then, of course, she wanted to see what she looked like. So, once more, she touched the flower and said, I wish I had a little looking glass. But although Busy Lizzie liked her new curls, she thought they weren't nearly long enough. So, once more, she touched her flower and said, I wish my curls to grow longer and longer. That was a silly thing to wish. The curls grew and grew and grew. First they reached her knees, and then her feet, and then began to pile up behind her. Now all that hair was very heavy, so she had to wish for something else. And what do you think it was? She wished for a cart to carry her curls. Well, at first she was very pleased. She walked along, pulling her curls behind her, but they were still very heavy. Besides, they went on growing. When Busy Lizzie found that she could hardly pull the cart along, she called out, I wish my curls would stop growing. But look what happened. There she is, exactly the same as she was before, wispy hair and all. And do you know why? Because she had wished for more than four things at once. Did you count? Isn't she funny? I like little girls with wispy hair. Shall we turn over? It's a picture of little chicks, all fluffy and soft. Look at their bright little eyes. You just look at them for a moment while I fetch something very exciting. Chicks like eating grain. I see they'll have some. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I wonder if they'll have some water to drink. Yeah. Come on. You try the water. Yeah. They're such a pretty yellow colour. No, they don't want any water. Let's try some more grain over here. Come on. Can you hear the noise there, Becky? Oh, look, he's, he's having a lovely drink. What are you drinking? Aren't they pretty? Well, I think I'd better look at the next page in the picture book before I put them away, don't you? Oh, yes. It's another story about the Jolly Jack Tars. But where are they? This is the island they saw last time, and there's their ship, look. What funny-looking trees. 
That big one looks like a bottle with a feather duster sticking out of the top. seem to have walked for miles and just sit down by the captain. Oh. Mm, I'm so tired. Poor things, they do look hot. I hope they won't be disappointed when they wake up because I don't think this is the talking horse island. It looks to me as if it might be called Bottle Island. like a bell. But where did it come from? Where did what come from? Uh, didn't you hear a noise? No, did you? Perhaps we were dreaming. Perhaps we were. Jonathan, wake up. We're going. Hmm. Oh, I dreamt I was in a funny place where all the trees were like bottles. Why, so they are. Tiki, look. Trees like bottles. But in my dream, they all made noises. Island. I'm glad we saw it, even if it wasn't the one with the talking horse. I wonder where they'll be next time. Is that your sausage? No, I haven't forgotten it this time. It's that mustard and cress. Sausage, you've been eating it. Oh, sausage, now look, you'll be dropping it all over the place. Take it away this minute. Sausage, you're a very naughty little dog. Go on, you take it away. Off you go. Look, here it is. He hasn't taken very much of it, really, has he? But then he's not very big yet. Perhaps we'll have some for our tea. Have you grown any mustard and cress yet? It's time to put the picture book away now. Goodbye. Until next time. 